Hello, welcome to a uh, on the kitchen table special, not from my kitchen table. Um, I'm just having a little post-lunch manzanilla, nice dry bit of salty sherry, uh, because I'm currently in uh, Tenerife. So, yeah, that's the view down there. A bit cloudy today, actually. And there's the Rock del Conde. So this is where we are. Um, <clears throat> I've had lots and lots of questions from people about... Um, the couple of bits of news that have happened while I'm away, so I thought I'd do a very quick video just with my um, opinions on the two kind of uh, bits of news that relate to us specifically, which is one, the new uh, version 3 firmware for the Vision, and number two is the release of the Vision Plus. I had lots of emails and questions from people about those two things, so um, we'll uh, we'll go for a little, little wander and a discussion about those, shall we? Excuse me. Mm. Very good. So, um, the first one is the version 3 firmware. Um, a lot of people have been saying, well, you know, it's a bit of a problem because of the um, restrictions on flying locations. And um, I'm not sure about that, actually. I think probably DJI are being quite progressive. I think as the number one kind of supplier of a aircraft that can do the things that our aircraft can do, I suspect they are preempting a clampdown. And I think actually by them at least putting it in the firmware from the start, we are going to have a easier time of it from local legislators. I think they are going to um, <clears throat> look at it and go, well, yeah, that's fair enough. You can't go hooning around into, into our major international airports. And it's probably a good... Um, you know, a good thing to do. I know some people have issues about personal freedoms and choice and all that kind of gear. But, you know, I think I think the way things are going and the popularity of the products that we enjoy flying, uh, that, that they have chosen to be progressive. I think if people leave them in droves to go to other manufacturers, I think those other manufacturers are going to end up having to do the same thing. Because, um, you know, all of the negative publicity that we've had and there's only been a couple, the guy in Manhattan, and uh, there's been some some other news items, haven't they, about people doing, doing taking shots from from uh, car accidents and stuff. They have all been using DJI products, and specifically, I think they've all been using a Vision. And I think that's the problem with the Vision is it's ready to go out of the box, so anyone can pick one up off the shelf and do these things. So I think the um, my personal opinion is that is that. This is a preemption of inevitable um, rulemaking, and hopefully, what DJI have done from a manufacturer point of view will mean that locally our legislators will be a little more relaxed. Let's hope. Um, <clears throat> we'll see. I know people are talking about hacking the firmware already um, to to sort of try and remove that. I don't think that. I think that might shoot us in the foot, um, but we'll see. Um, so the second bit of news that while I've been away is the Vision Plus, which was kind of a started to become a, a not very well kept secret, and I'm really disappointed now in what they've done with it. They've, I think they've lost a big opportunity on with the camera. Why well, release this really excellent three-axis gimbal and the nice small form factor and keep the internals of the camera virtually identical? Where's the opportunity to get in with some third-party um, decent optics? And something to make it a real GoPro alternative? I was expecting, um, or hoping probably rather, you know, you'd have your vision at the entry level <clears throat> with its video quality, the Vision Plus with something that was, you know, approaching GoPro, and then you have the GoPro option for the P2 people. And it just hasn't happened, and that's very bizarre. So I'm not sure why they've done that. Um, <clears throat> as ever with DJI, I think the package is excellent. Um, you know, the fact that they've put it all in one and they've made it lightweight and everything else and barbecue set up for later. Um, the, the range extension is very interesting. <sighs> and a lot of people have been getting loads of emails. Oh, what would you do? Would you buy a new one? And I think, if I'm honest, if I was starting out in the hobby now, of course I'd buy a plus. But I'm not. I'm six months in, and I don't see enough. Um, 
I don't see enough extra in the plus to warrant selling my vision and I've got my Rotopixel gimbal I'm really happy with that I'm already thinking in my mind about you know adding another aircraft to my fleet and it won't be a ready to fly I'm pretty certain now so you know having a gimbal that I can take with me is going to save me money there I can put the vision back to stock my son can have it or you know whatever and I've for less than 50 quid I've been able to put um, some antennas from Horizon FPV on mine that give me more range than the new plus has got anyway and the other thing that I'm thinking is that you know the form factor of their camera is now so specific to the gimbal where's the update where's the upgrade path I don't think there's going to be one I think if they do come out with a vision 3 you're not going to just like you can't update the vision to the vision plus system I don't think you'll be able to update the plus to the to the three I wonder if they've deliberately called it a plus for a reason anyway other than that though if you're starting off in this hobby and it's your first time I would um, yeah definitely if you've already got a vision and you've got the money and you want it, you want the, the third axis and you're happy with that kind of that 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 not dead end route but that route that DJI want to take you down why not it's just a real shame I think that for the extra money ah oh, they could have just put a, they could have given GoPro a but run for their money but they didn't and I'm not sure why maybe again it might be a little bit of a rush out to market I don't know but still, so that's my kind of, um, and this is purely opinion. I haven't got one, obviously. I haven't touched one or seen one, really. I'm, I'm here in Tenerife with a very slow Wi-Fi connection. But I found if I lean over the, over the balcony a bit, I can use somebody else's Wi-Fi, which is what I'm going to send this up with. <laughs> Might take all day, but there we go. So, yeah, uh, my opinion is that I think it's a great package, great technology. They've done it again, DJI. The, 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 the package is great. It's out of the box. It's ready to go. But I think it was a wasted opportunity and I'm not sure there's enough in it there for me. I mean, I haven't got the money anyway to upgrade my quad every six months with a new ready to fly. I think the, to get into the market, great. I think going forward, yeah, maybe look at something else. But we shall see. Um, there'll probably be a little bit more on that when I get back. Maybe a little project that's been ticking over in the back of my head will be, um, will be realised. We'll see. But, um, but yeah, so there we are. That was just a little little update from, from the Canary Islands. Um, I hope that uh, you're all enjoying flying your visions. And I didn't bring mine. I know, I know. I've got two kids and I needed all the luggage space I could get. Um, and also the airline we went with, it was uh, my flight case wouldn't fit into hand luggage. So um, I'm not even going to put it in the hold. So, yeah, so that's a little bit of an update, just some news. And uh, hopefully that's answered all the questions I've been getting emails about. Sorry if I couldn't reply to anyone. It's uh, like I say, we're... We're on holiday and we're having a great time. So have a good one. And um, next time I speak to you, it will be back at the kitchen table. Take care now. Bye.